you guys, so sorry it's taken so long, but we've been really busy the last few weeks. Dustin has had surgery, and so we were trying to squeeze in as much as we could before he had to go in. Uh, it was hernia surgery, so all of the heavy lifting and stuff we had to get done before he could go in and have surgery. Um, but we're out picking some beans, and so far we have probably about half this big old harvest bowl full, but there's still plenty more. Check these out though, aren't these cool? These little dragon tongue beans. Now these may have gotten too big, so if you pick them while they're young, you can use them like a green bean, otherwise they make a nice shelling bean. And these cool, they're like the pink version of these. We have some red beans, purple, standard green beans. So I'm gonna try to get in here and get the rest of them picked. And then we have somebody to introduce you to. Welcome to Tomato Alley. This is where you go to get some good tomatoes. So what we did was, uh, before my surgery, we went ahead and got all the T-posts in and hung up some uh, cattle panel, 60 feet rows. We haven't done this one all the way. We ran out of time, and uh, but the tomatoes down there, those are the ones we replanted from the storm, so they're still small. As you can see, we already got some tomatoes. I mean, a lot of you are way ahead of us, but we got a little setback. It's all right. We got plenty of growing season left. We come over here. We did a row over here for our uh, our cucumbers. So we just discovered the mother load in here. All these little babies taking off. Check this out. This plant. I gotta find out what variety this is. This is crazy. Look at all these babies down in here. some of the brassicas and they went to flower um they went to seeds so we're gonna take this and uh come on let's introduce you to somebody i brought you flowers i brought you flowers hi baby this little tan one here is miss cora and our black goat here is fern and what breed are these? Uh, they're La Mancha goats, and they are very, very nice. They're from really good bloodlines. Um, a woman at work is a second generation La Mancha uh, herdswoman, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what you call them. Um, but they have very, very high production, and so, um, you know, over a gallon, maybe gallon and a half a day production are their bloodlines and everything. So. They're very nice dairy goats. Um, we're not gonna breed them right away. We're gonna wait until they're a little older. Hey, Cora. Want some of these? No, <laughs> here. Now, Fern, Fern was the shy one. She's starting to warm up to us. Aren't you, Fern? See, they're like dogs, they just follow you. So this is our goat structure that we had. Uh, we hired an Amish guy to come over here and build this for us. Um, it is 10 feet by 20 feet by about eight feet high. Oh, uh, two stalls. We got the alfalfa hanging up, the water bowl, and then our, our mineral buckets, so. Got the minerals, so this is where we feed them grains in the morning. And then baking soda in case they uh, eat something that doesn't really agree with them. I guess they'll just eat baking soda at will to uh, calm their stomach. All right, so the part that we really liked about this shelter was that it they could build it however we wanted and we wanted a feed room that had a floor. So having the alfalfa in here was a major priority for me because it keeps it dry and hopefully keeps the snakes out of it. Um, we did get some metal barrels um, off of Facebook Marketplace. 
uh, rodent proof. We're gonna install like a solar light up here and then run the solar panel outside so we have a light in this room. And then on the outside here, we installed these little solar lights, which I just got them up today. I don't think they're set up right, but um, I might have to move them. But hopefully, you know, light this up. If uh, any creatures come out here at night, you know, maybe it'll scare them off. Um, or, you know, at least we can see what's going on. So these, this is the sleeping quarters for them. Their other stall. is we're gonna bring the chickens out here to the goat area and hopefully they'll help keep the ticks down. Hopefully, we've got a lot of ticks out here. Between the chickens and we're looking at getting guineas but we don't have a structure and you know you gotta train guineas otherwise they fly off. <laughs> we're gonna go clip some dill and uh, get our fermenting on and make some dilly beans here so we'll hope to see you guys again real soon. It won't be as long. Nope, take care guys. Take care, bye. Bye.